Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Donald, and today I'm going to review about a game about an Atari, tw for the first time I'm going to be reviewing a Atari 2600 game called Night Driver. Sorry, I'm showing a dark view of the game. Oh, I had to relabel it with a label maker because the end label fell off or went missing. Here's what the cartridge looks like, and I gotta say, this game looks like a Need for Speed game. Anyway, you use the traditional standard pedal controllers, like so. You hold down the button to accelerate and use the pedal to steer the, the car. And it says on the cartridge to use pedal controllers, to use it says use with pedal controllers so let's just pop this thing in and see what night driver is going to be like when it comes to this kind of game with that kind of graphics you have to use your imagination so you can imagine whatever car you're driving and let it be your favorite like a ferrari, zonda, or Pagini or Lamborghini or whatever car you could think of or I could think of now before I made these videos I used to be into racing games before I entered the Lego age now let's hit reset and and I'm off Oh, and watch out for the other cars. If you hit them, you'll crash. If you hit the sides, you'll crash. Kind of reminds me of Berserk on the Atari 2600. Except this is a racing game. Or a driving game. Oops, I crashed. Sorry about that. Oh, and the game ends when the timer when the timer hits zero. You only get a limit of 90 seconds to drive through this highway. And your high score depends on how far you've driven. And I crash again. That's my high score, 49. I don't really know the game's high score, and I don't think it's an arcade game. It's just kind of like a sports racing game, like motorsports or something. Anyway, let's try that again. There's the trees, houses. I gotta say, the pedal controllers do function like a like an actual steering wheel.
my score is 49 again. Let's see if I can go any further than that. Anyway, just to let you know, I'm not playing this on the Atari 2600. Oh, and if you crash into the car, so crash into the side, and, and they'll move out of the way after you crash. Anyway, I'm not playing this on an Atari 2600, by the way. I'm playing it on the ColecoVision. My 101, Miss Kavanagh, you don't know what, for those of you who don't know her, um, she's my 101, school's 101 that comes with me whenever I, before I could graduate to high school, before I graduated high school. She, her and her husband used to play Atari 2600 when they were dating, and I'm sure she remembers this game. I'm sure her and her husband remember this game. Note, this game is not made by Activision. It's made by... I'm sh I think it's made by Atari. Well, anyway... So, I don't have a 2600. But I do have this expansion module, which I'm using on right now, which I showed you on my previous video with the ColecoVision review. If you want to see what it looks like, go back to my old video about the ColecoVision, because in this video, I'm only going to be reviewing about Night Driver. We're only going to review about the Atari 2600 game of Night Driver, which is, believe it or not, one of my first Atari games that I've ever obtained, which I got it for Christmas, if you... If you ask me. Even though I don't really read the comments, I just do it as a spare moment time. But anyway, in conclusion, this game is an awesome game. I don't know why it's not called Need for Speed, but it should have been a Need for Speed title. That would have been... That would have been... The... That would have been... The gold, man. And I gotta say, I really like this game. I play it before I even go to school. I know I said I could graduate it before, but unfortunately I have a CDOS because I... Because I couldn't pass the Common Core. For those of you who are watching and don't like the Common Core, I'm just letting you know this right now that I don't blame you guys. But anyway, in conclusion, this game is awesome. I have fun with it, and, and it's a really fun game, and this is a game you might want to try out. Not a bad game. Try it out. Which is probably one of the first racing games I've ever played. Which is probably one of the first racing titles that's ever been released on a 2600 console made by Atari before racing games was common. But anyway, and you can even change it black and white whenever you hit the black and white mode. But anyway, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and like the video and and I'm sure this game is available on either online or in some kind of video game store like Game Hut or Play and Trade. So if you have a store nearby like that, you can just go ahead and find one. If you own a 2600 or the 7800 or the ColecoVision expansion module. But anyway, this is me. Signing off.